So this is question number 20. Check your understanding from electric current. It is one of the best questions of RC circuit. So let us see what is the question and how do we solve it. So question is, there is a circuit. Initially, the switch is open. So this is the switch. And all the capacitors are initially uncharged. So we have to consider first 100 second time interval after the switch is closed. Find the total energy stored in the capacitors. So in 100 second, we have to find total energy stored in the capacitors. And the total energy, which is dissipated in the resistance, this resistance we are talking about in 100 second interval. Internal resistance of the battery does not exceed a few ohms, right? Very, very important information. So let us see what is the important data given. And accordingly, we will take certain assumptions, right? So important data here is that this resistance R is 100 kilo ohm, but this is a very, very small resistance, only few ohms, but this is 10 to the power 5 ohm, right? So just after closing the switch, immediately after closing the switch, what will happen now? There is no potential drop across any of the capacitors because capacitors are initially uncharged. So the circuit behaves like this, right? It behaves like this. There are still capacitors connected here, but since there is no drop, I have replaced these four capacitors as plain wire. So if you see this resistance is short-circuited, so there is no current in this. Whatever current is going to flow just after closing the switch is going to flow from the internal resistance of the battery, which is very, very small, right? So large, that is what I've written. Large current will flow in R and heat generated will also be large for initial few seconds, right? And on the top of that, the value of R is also very large. Initially, there is no current in this. So it will take a significant amount of time to build up certain amount of current in this resistance, right? So for initial few seconds, if you try to think what the circuit will look like, right? This is just after closing the switch. So for initial few seconds, since this resistance is very large, right? It acts as an infinite resistance. You can almost assume this as infinite as compared to this. So here current will be very small. So this will behave like an open circuit. You know, infinite circuit, infinite resistance behaves like an open circuit. So the circuit for initial few seconds will behave like this and these capacitors will be charged according to this diagram, right? So what I have done now, I'm finding the energy stored in the capacitor. This is only for initial few seconds, right? Because this resistance is very, very large. So C equivalent here, these two are in series. So two, and this is, this will also be two, two into four. So half C equivalent into V square I have done, V is 200, so half, uh, this is C equivalent and V squared. So 8 into 10 power minus 2 joule of energy will be stored in these capacitors. Now, you know, which I've drawn this circuit. This is if you uh, take all of this as C equivalent and place one capacitor here, and this is the resistance, then you know this from your previous knowledge that when battery is doing work or capacitor is getting charged in RC circuit, then the amount of energy stored in the capacitor is equal to amount of amount of heat generated in the uh, resistance, right? So that is what, based on that, if you don't remember that, just go through your capacitor nodes, or you can just do the very small calculation in this circuit, and you can uh, find out this result, which I'm talking about right now. So heat generated in internal resistance will also be same, right? From that result, I have concluded this. So for initial few seconds, Heat generated in internal resistance will be 8 into 10 power minus 2. Heat generated in this will be very, very small because this will, since resistance is very large, this behaves as infinite resistance. There will be very small current or almost negligible current will flow through this, right? Okay, fine. So now we will analyze the circuit behavior at t tends to infinity, which is 100 second, right? Normally in RC circuit, time constant is of the order of milliseconds. So at t tends to infinity, what's going to happen now? And t tends to infinity, there will not be any current, right, anywhere, because at t tends to infinity, capacitor behaves as open circuit, so there is no current which can flow from here, no current which can flow from here, likewise from these two branches, so there is no current here, no current here, and if there is no current, then V equal to IR, there will be no drop across the register. If there is no drop, so I have then um, replaced the register by a plain wire, because there is no drop, potential of these two points will be equal, right? And here also the internal resistance I have replaced like a plane wire because in that also same logic will work. Fine. So here now I'm again going to store, uh, find the energy stored in the capacitor. Now in this circuit, these two will be in parallel, in parallel, then combination will be in series. 
So in parallel, these are nine, nine, nine by two, C equivalent is nine by two. So energy stored will be half C V square, right? So this is nine into 10 power minus two. Now heat generated, total heat generated in uh, capital R and small r is also going to be nine into 10 power minus two, right? Same logic. The amount of energy stored in the capacitor is equal to amount of heat generated in the resistor. So in uh, combination, nine into 10 power minus two heat will be, uh, joule heat will be generated. Now you have to find out heat generated in capital R in 100 seconds, right? And we have found that in initial few seconds, the heat generated in small r will be eight into 10 to the power minus two, right? And then when a significant amount of current starts flowing in this, that time you can see the heat generated in this will be large as compared to this, right? So after a significant amount of time or T tends to infinity, total heat generated is this. Initial few seconds, this much heat is already generated in a small r, right? So how much how much heat will be generated in capital R? We can just subtract these two and find out. So 9 into 10 power minus 2 minus 8 into 10 power minus 2. That will give you 1 into 10 power minus 2 joule, right? So that's it. That was my analysis. I think this is one of the best questions of RC circuit. Based on the data and all, you have to take certain decisions and assumptions. Right? This is very, very important questions, question for Olympiad as well as J advance. So if you have uh, liked my analysis, please like this video and uh, please subscribe to this channel also. That will be a great motivation for me to continue. So that's it. Thank you. All the best.